This is Dr. Batts. Uh, again, as you all know, I'm a cardiologist who focuses on prevention. I wanted to formally say thank you to the Association of Black Cardiologists who partnered with both the American College of Cardiology and the American Heart Association. Just yesterday, the Association of Black Cardiologists put out a riveting statement. I take pride in being a part of both the Association of Black Cardiologists and the American College of Cardiology in regards to their approach to diversity and inclusion. This statement that they put out, again, a link is listed below, speaks to healthcare disparities, but it doesn't just stop there. It talks about their goal in an effort to balance these issues that we see as a pervasive problem in our community. As an African-American male who has sons, brothers, and friends who are also African-American, I oftentimes have a certain angst, particularly with my sons. Despite what I do to create an environment that cultivates education and that puts them in the right position, there are some people who would stop at just the way they look in terms of how they approach them. But I always have that fear as a father that at some point they may engage with law enforcement and it may not turn out the way that we want it to. My friends and I often discuss our experiences growing up. One in particular stands out as my friends and I were traveling back home from a track practice that we had and we were stopped by the police. Again, we weren't doing anything wrong, it just, we appeared to fit the description. We stayed outside in the hot North Carolina sun for upwards of two to three hours, handcuffed, berated. And again, at that moment, I, I thought this was my reality. Now, were it not for a rather tenacious mother and, and my father, uh, they visited City Hall and advocated for me. But my mother made a statement that day that stuck with me for many years. What about the young men who don't have a mother that will go directly to the mayor and talk to them? What about the young men who unfortunately don't know how to uh, answer in a way that doesn't escalate things? What about the young men who don't have the opportunity to make that a discussion? Looking back, that episode has stayed with me all my life. I still talk to my son about that and we hearken back to what it meant and how it changed my life. But it was the efforts of those around me, my community, that allowed me to look beyond that current situation and move to a better place. That said, it takes the efforts of all of us to work together to make change be a feasible, reasonable, and sustainable opportunity for everyone. Yesterday, I had a pleasurable discussion about health equity and, and our current situation with some uh, colleagues at my hospital. Now, these colleagues weren't African-Americans. As much as we threw ideas around, what we found was that there was no easy answer. But one of the things that we highlighted was that it started with a conversation that despite whatever your background, your color, your race, your creed, anything like that, we all are equal. Now, how to manifest that in society, I don't know. That's left for lawmakers or, or anyone else that kind of develops policies to help us. In any case, I felt compelled to first thank uh, my organizations, the Association of Black Cardiologists, the American College of Cardiology, for taking a stand and making a poignant statement to say they will not stand for these issues. In their statement, they make a poignant commentary. I'll read for you an excerpt from that. As noted, thus, we stand and link arms in solidarity with efforts to dismantle systems that maintain excess morbidity and mortality, especially among vulnerable populations and those historically oppressed. Indeed, our vast collective membership, many of whom are at the front lines of healthcare, has taken an oath to decisively and with kindness, compassion, and grace act to relieve suffering related to I can't breathe to preserve life. Again, thank you, Association of Black Cardiologists, 
Thank you, American College of Cardiology. Thank you, American Heart Association, for being a voice on a larger platform for change. Thank you.